Hello my very most beautiful Leos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your May 30th weekly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Leos, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most, please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it, please show me Leo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. We got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck for your general overall energy. So let's take a look at this, Leo's. You know what? I do feel like there could be a conversation, okay? Um, a conversation that comes up that kind of clears something up for you. We're definitely going to need to clarify and take a look and see what that is. But I feel like you guys could have been um, indecisive when it comes to a specific person or connection. Whether that's like decisive about how you feel about them or decisive about what to do in a situation. Um, I, I definitely feel like that's something that's been weighing on your mind. Like I said, we are going to clarify these in a moment. We're just going to go over them real quick first. Um, so I definitely feel like there's something here that's been on your mind. You've been a little bit indecisive about or need, there's a need to make a decision. And I do feel like there could be a conversation that kind of clears things up in the area of your communication. You have the High Priestess in the reverse. So something makes itself known to you, okay? And it kind of sheds some light. Like maybe it makes it a little easier to make this decision. We will have to see, or maybe that's what causes the indecision. We have the Eight of Swords here for your emotions. So yeah, you've been really in your head about this. You've been really in your head about this. And maybe there's, whatever this is that's coming up could very well be what puts you in that like stressed indecision in your head energy. We'll have to take a look and see. Your What your intuition is trying to tell you is the Nine of Pentacles. So there could be something here where your intuition is telling you to make sure that you're good on your own first. Okay. Um, that's interesting. We have the Three of Wands here for what you're trying to grow. I feel like you have you have hope for a specific situation, for a specific connection. For a lot of you guys, I feel like this is somebody that you are in separation with, okay? Or somebody that you, you know, are just not with, okay? I feel like you're not in a commitment with this person, but I do feel like you want to be. I feel like this is somebody that you have a lot of emotion for, okay? And I do feel that... I do feel like the Three of Wands can be a card of hope. It can be waiting for the right time. It can be, you know, future thinking. You know, I feel like this is something that you had hoped would work out in the future, but now I feel like something is being brought to the light and you are questioning that. You're in your head about that. You get the Two of Swords in the reverse here for your stability. I feel like you guys will be making a decision this week. Like I said, something is, is becoming clear to you. And I do feel like you will be making a decision this week. It does look like a major decision. We have the Ace of Wands here for what you're creating. Potentially a brand new beginning, which looks really nice. What you're destroying is the Knight of Cups, which is a dream or a vision. Um, I do feel like... You had a specific, like I said, especially with this energy, I feel like you had a specific idea for how something was going to play out. You had a specific idea of how something, how you wanted something to go, you know, like a specific dream or vision. Like this is, this is what I want. This is what I want to happen. This is how I want it to work out, you know, that kind of thing. And I, I do feel like there is still an opportunity for a new beginning, but I do feel like it could be different than what you had originally hoped. Okay. Um, I feel like that specific plan or, or dream or vision is what is kind of getting destroyed here. Now we have the moon card in the reverse for your challenge. So whatever is being, something is definitely being brought to the light, okay? With the moon in the reverse, the high priestess in the reverse, and the two of swords in the reverse. 
That's a challenge. Whatever this is, whatever this information is, we're going to find out in a moment. Whatever that information is, whatever this is that comes becomes clear to you or makes itself known to you, that is what the challenge is, okay? That's what's causing, you know, everything. I feel like it's still possible for you guys to move through it um, because of this Ace of Wands. But I feel like Spirit's asking you, maybe just because the opportunity is here, you know, should you be doing that? This could be a brand new opportunity outside of this altogether. We're going to need to clarify and see. What you don't see coming is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. I do feel like you could be, you know, a little bit emotionally overwhelmed, okay? I have a little bit of a difficult time when it comes to making this decision or just from making the decision itself. We're going to grab another deck. We're going to start to clarify. We're going to see what's going on. Tell me about this High Priestess in the reverse. What is that about? What is this High Priestess in the reverse here for? The Ace of Cups. And the Hermit. And the Two of Cups. My goodness, you know what? Some of you guys, what you are realizing, what is coming to the light is how you really feel about somebody. Um, maybe this is something that was started off as, you know, friends or started off as just something that was supposed to be fun or supposed to be just purely physical or casual or, you know, maybe you're just really realizing how you really feel about somebody. Just take it how it resonates for you. This could definitely be a past person that you're realizing that you still have very strong feelings for, okay? But whatever it is, um, you know, this is like the hermit. It's like really shining his light on the fact that there's a lot of love here, okay? And that's what's becoming clear to you. You know what this is kind of feeling like? You had this plan, maybe, maybe what your plan was was to stay single, to be on your own, to do your own thing. Okay, you had plans for your future. That's what this dreamer vision was. You had plans for your future. You had a certain way that you thought that your life was going to go. You weren't planning on meeting anybody. You weren't planning on falling in love. I like this. Okay, let's go ahead. Tell me about this judgment card in the reverse. The justice card. So somebody could be expressing their feelings to you with that energy for some of you. For others of you, I just feel like you want to do the right thing, um, not just for by this person, but also for yourself. And like I said, I feel like you guys have been planning on being on your own. This is like something that you, you know, said, maybe you guys said, I'm not going to do another relationship. I'm not going to be in another relationship, you know, or I'm just going to stay a single or I'm just going to focus on this or I'm going to focus on that, you know, and I, and I feel like there's some truth coming out that you're kind of having to face now. Um, because you're having these realizations of how you really feel about somebody or, or potentially how they feel about you. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Maybe, yeah, some of you guys were not looking for something long-term or stable, committed. Some of you guys were not looking for any kind of commitment. You guys wanted to stay single. You guys wanted to stay independent on your own. And now you're like asking yourself, like, can I see, can I see myself with this person for the long term? Do I want to, you know, get settled down, tied down? Do I want a commitment? You know, this is stuff that's going on in your emotions. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. So that's what, you know, you thought that you wanted. Um, interesting that you have the high priestess and the upright over top of the nine of pentacles and you have it in the reverse for your communication. Somebody could definitely be expressing to you how they feel. And, you know, I feel like what you're being asked to do here with this high priestess and the upright over top of the nine of pentacles, I feel like you're at one, you're being asked to trust your intuition. Two, I feel like you're you're asked to take a deeper look at things. Okay, it's Pisces energy. It's it's you know a, a, it's a deeper energy. It's a knowing, a reflection, a deep reflection. I feel like you guys are being asked to take a look at the reasons why you f want the things you do. So if it's you know why you want to be single, why you want to be on your own, taking a look at why that is and making sure that it's not coming out of a place of fear, making sure that it's really coming from the right place within you. Tell me about this Three of Wands. The Ace of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. Wow, some of you guys, 
could be tricking yourself out of a brand new beginning here. And maybe it's because you're trying to follow the plan, you know, this plan that you've had for yourself. Um, for some of you, it's like, I no, I, I want to do this first and I want to do this first before I get into a relationship or, you know, whatever it is for you, whatever it's holding you back. Um, but this does feel to me like tricking yourself out of a new beginning because you're like waiting for the right time when there never will be one. Or when you're trying to stick to your plan. You could be missing out on something. You could be, it's showing up as tricking yourself out of something. Tell me about this Two of Swords energy in the reverse. The Emperor. So you're trying to maintain control over the situation. You're trying to con like dictate and control the outcome. Some of that could be coming from a place of fear. So I do feel like you are in, I do feel like this is also saying that you, you know, are in control of the situation. You're the one who gets to make the decision here, Leo. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for what they could potentially be creating. The Queen of Wands. I feel like there's an opportunity for this, like there's an opportunity to have something that could be really beautiful. This person looks like you guys, it's showing up as the two of cups. That's like a perfect match. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of potential here with these aces. Um, and it looks like a very passionate new beginning. And all you have to do is be willing to risk it and be willing to go for it. Be willing to grab a hold of, grab a hold of it and go for it. You know, the queen of wands showing up. Tell me about this knight of cups. Let's just see what flipped over. You get the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Some of you guys have a lot of responsibilities at this time too. And maybe that's what this Knight of Cups is. Maybe you guys have been focused on your family, your security, um, your job, your business, you know, your career goals, your the other kind of stuff. Um, I just feel, I'm feeling the Ten of Wands with this Ten of Pentacles as you know, just a lot of responsibility. And maybe that's why you had this plan or this vision. Like, I'm not going to fall in love until I'm done with school. I'm not going to fall in love until I get to this point in my career. Or I'm not going to get into a relationship till this or that. Um, you know, or I just, I don't want a relationship because I've been hurt before. I'm just going to focus on this or I'm going to focus on that instead. I feel like that's what you're destroying though, is that um, that that plan, that vision, you know, allowing the vision to change, allowing it to grow, allowing it to expand and blossom and maybe encompass a person. Tell me about this moon in reverse energy for the challenge. The Knight of Pentacles. So it's like, it's like now the challenge is now that you have figured this out, now that you have, this has become clear to you that this person has feelings for you, you have feelings for this person, this opportunity is presenting itself to you. What are you going to do about it? That's what this, that's what this energy says. What are you, what are you going to do about it? That's the challenge. What are you going to do with it? Um, the night of, the night of um, pentacles, he's not really a big action taker. Um, he's, you know, he's actually the only one that isn't really taking any action, but there's so, he's like, he, he spews potential okay he he has there's so much potential here and it's also like about being thorough making plans figuring out what the next step is you know and i feel like that's where you're at now that this and this is the challenge it's like now that all of this has come to the light now that it's here this moment this opportunity what are you gonna do what are you gonna do with it tell me about this queen of cups in the reverse why is that what leo doesn't see coming the page of wands I feel like this is going to, if you're not careful, one, this could be you being a little bit emotionally closed off to a new beginning or a little bit too emotionally guarded when it comes to a beginning. All I'm going to say to you guys is this. I do not feel like we have to have relationships to be fulfilled. If you are happy on your own and you want to focus on yourself or your healing or other things, that is beautiful, okay? Um, but if you guys are not getting into relationships or you're pushing things away or being closed hearted or closed off emotionally guarded because you're afraid, okay, if it's coming from a place of fear, um, that's something that, you know, you should look at, okay? That's a kind of a different scenario. This is what I'm seeing. I, I feel like you have all the control in the situation, especially with this emperor being here. You're the one that gets to make this decision. I feel like there's a really special offer being presented to you. And, um, you know, this reading is basically asking you, like, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do about it? So let's go ahead and get some advice for you. Oh, my goodness. Well, apparently lots of advice. Sometimes it's spirit, guys. Sometimes it's me being klutzy. I feel like more times than not, it's me being klutzy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we got the eight of cups and the full card. I feel like you guys are being asked to walk away from your plan or act to the way that you thought things were going to go, um, to walk away from your fear. Um, there's some things that you're being asked to leave behind, whether that's a comfort zone. You know, that's what the Eight of Cups is. He is walking away from something, and that's usually what we focus on in the Eight of Cups, right? We focus on the fact that he's walking away from something. Um, but what we fail to realize sometimes, too, is that he's he is walking away from something, but he's simultaneously walking towards something else. And the Eight of Cups is really, truly the only card that has the... Um, an eclipse in it and we did just experience an eclipse which is like big goodbyes big hellos um big changes in our life i feel like you guys are being called to walk away from a comfort zone walk away from you know uh, the way that you thought things should play out and open up to a possibility of new beginnings being willing to open up being willing to allow allow things that are meant to come in to come in um, but this is what I have for you guys. So if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead with a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray.